change my life around I just want this day never come to an end When I look at you I just wish this would never end Hello football fans, soccer fans around the world This is Mark Spencer once again, I'm back for Soccer Review 0607, number two. Well, folks, I've heard some of your comments. And you want to know something? I want to know all about, about little parts of the world that have football around the world. Well, folks, I watched a little bit of championship this past weekend, or last week. It was pretty good. I watched a little bit of Watford and Wolves. Two good teams trying to fight to get back into the premiership. Two teams that battle it out, work hard, do what they got to do. It's pretty sweet. And I watched some of the Scottish Premier League. It was pretty sweet to watch. I haven't watched the Scottish Premier League in almost three years. It's pretty sweet to be able to have the opportunity to watch some Scottish Premier League, watch Glasgow Rangers. But the bad thing is they lost. The Falkirk, 3 nothing. Well, that's what happens, folks. And in the world of football, you want to watch every game. You want to be part of every game. But the most important thing is, in life you have your opportunities, you have your obstacles, and I mean, there, there's always there's always something that gets in the way in terms of you know what you're going to be in life or, or what you're going to do. I mean, you know, I was so committed to this this summer, folks, and I mean, be able to do a soccer review, it, it's pretty sweet, you know. You know, it's the world's game. And I know fans around the world love the game. I know it, they do. And let me tell you, I've been watching some of the Premier League so far this season, and it's been pretty amazing. I just watched Manchester City upset Man U. How sweet it is for the people of Manchester City to celebrate. They're on top of all the Premier League. They are the best team in the Premier League. They've won three games in a row, no losses, all wins. They have the most points so far. And you look at Chelsea, they're, they're not too far from the top. They're actually third. And a surprising team is actually second this year. And that team is none other than West Ham. Actually, I believe it's Portsmouth. I, I don't know. I'll have to double check the standings, but it's pretty close. Liverpool's up there. I mean, Manchester United, the champions from last year, the Premiership. They have really, really struck it on some bad luck. Cristiano Ronaldo got a red card in their last game against Portsmouth. Wayne Rooney got a, a serious foot injury, another injury to his foot. He'd be out for another he'd be out for two to three months. Serious, serious problem. They just sold Gabriel Hanse to Real Madrid. He's just been unveiled. Him and Aaron Robin, formerly of the Chelsea. It's pretty amazing on what can happen to a team that wins it all. I don't know if it's a curse. I don't know what it is. But all I know is the game of football, anybody can win. A game's not won on paper. As a legend Andy Gray would say, a game's never won on paper. You have to play the game, folks. It's the game. No, you put 11 versus 11. 11 v 11, 11 versus 11 on the pitch. Two teams got to go at it. One goal is going to let a ball pass them. That's the key to football. The world's game, soccer, the beautiful game. It's an awesome game, folks, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I've seen a lot of surprises in the international scene. England lost, uh, a couple upsets. How about Armenia? This country, this little country, former part of the Soviet Union, this brought a smile to my face. To see a small little country like that score a big goal against a soccer power in Portugal was absolutely phenomenal. It was a beautiful cross on a beautiful header and a beautiful goal. That just true proves that a game's not won on paper. You can be the smallest team and you can still beat a Goliath. That's what I love about the FA Cup, the World Cup, and eight other type of competitions called Cups. The Italian Serie A, one of my favorite leagues around the world, starts 
this weekend. It's going to be pretty cool to watch some Syria on Sunday, to watch Ronaldo, Kaka, and all the boys at AC Milan, and see Inter Milan with all their legend, and Luis Figo, and such guys as Patrick Vieira, guys like that that make things happen. And to see Juventus come back into the Serie A, this time, no match fixing scandal anymore. They start a, cl a clean slate with a legend, someone I respect, someone I think is one of the best players in the world, Alessandro Del Piero. Had himself an outstanding year last year in Serie B and comes back to the Serie A to do some damage. Hey, this guy is still the all-time leader in goals in the Champions League, Alessandro Del Piero. Well, folks... <laughs> That's it. I'm done. We'll see you next time in Soccer Review. 0607. Number three. Good night. When you care about somebody, you show the passion, the love, and the truth. When I grew.